Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how you can securely encrypt a USB drive for free. Now to follow along with this video you're going to need a free piece of open source software called TrueCrypt. Now this allows you to encrypt many devices including USB drives as well as individual files and built-in devices to your computer like your regular hard drive. And um, So you're just going to head over to their website which will be linked in the description and then you can just head over to their downloads page and uh, which is just here and then you can download the latest version. It won't take very long to download and install, it's only a few meg big and uh, after that we can keep going. So once you have that downloaded you're obviously going to need a USB drive to follow along with us so once you have one ready I've got a um, a, two, a 2 gigabyte removable thumb drive and uh, so let's go ahead and encrypt it. So just open up the TrueCrypt program that we've installed and now just press create volume. Now we're going to say encrypt a non-system partition stroke drive and uh, as it says this will encrypt a non-system partition and uh, for an example a flash drive. So uh, this is the option that we want, we can just select that and press next. We want to say uh, if you have a pop-up saying for TrueCrypt to edit your system just say yes. But uh, for this video I'm going to say standard TrueCrypt volume. A hidden TrueCrypt volume is just a slightly more... Uh, it just adds like an extra layer of security where you can enter different passwords to access different pieces of data. But just for this video I'm going to say standard. You can always go back and select hidden. It's almost exactly the same. But uh, let's carry on. We just need to select the device that we're going to use. So removable disk 2, G is the one that I want. If you're not 100% sure which one uh, yours is, you really want to be sure, so just go start, computer, find the drive that you want, and mine's removable disk G. And the drive less is important because it'll be here as well and these will be the same. So removable disk 2, G is what I want. Also the size gives it away, so 1.9 gig. Now we're just going to press next, create encrypted volume and format it. Now we can press next, 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 and give it a password. Just for this video I'm going to use the password test123 for simplicity, but it's strongly recommended that you use a much more um, a much more secure password, just so that if anyone did try to break into this, they wouldn't be able to guess something as simple as that, or use hacking techniques to get into it. So I'm just going to press next, and as you can see we've got a warning saying pretty much what I just said, so we can press yes. This is where it will create a random key depending on your mouse position, which is quite clever, so if you want to you can move your mouse around a bit and it should make it a bit more secure. Then we can press format, press yes. This is just a warning saying that uh, any files currently on there will be lost. Uh, for me there's nothing on there at the moment so this doesn't make a difference, but just make sure that there isn't anything on there that you want and if there is just back it up because it will be lost. So just continue. And now this is going to take quite a while to uh, set up, so I'm just going to pause the video and then come back when it's done. Okay, so it's just finished formatting, and now we've just got a pop-up explaining how to essentially use the encryption system that we've set up. And uh, basically what it's saying is that uh, the drive letter G isn't the one that we'll be using. We'll be uh, using a technique called mounting the uh, file system on it. We shall essentially give it another letter and that will be the encrypted file system that we'll be storing files in. Uh, the drive letter G will only be used if we want to essentially reset it back to how it was, so format it. Uh, so otherwise, uh, we don't need to use the drive letter G anymore and we'll just assign it to a different one. So if we just press OK, OK, and exit. So um, just in case you didn't quite understand what I said, I'll just basically show you what it means. So you want to just select a drive letter other than G, so for example M. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and press select device, not select file. Select drive letter G, removable disk 2, press OK. And now press mount. Now we enter the password, test123, and press OK. Now if I just essentially explain what this has done is, it's taken the regular uh, USB drive, which was letter G, it's uh, used the encryption on it and then assigned the encrypted file uh, to drive letter M. So now if you press start and go to computer, as you can see we have drive G and uh, drive M. 
Drive G isn't usable, it's just used for the encryption. And uh, so we can double click on Drive M and use it as a regular um, USB drive. So for example I can uh, go ahead and create a file in here, I'll just create a uh, text document as an example. I'll just call it text. Uh, just put some random stuff in it, save it and exit out of it. And now we can close out of this in TrueCrypt, press dismount. And now if we go back to computer, as you can see we just have drive G. Now this isn't a usable drive and uh, no one will be able to decrypt the information on it without entering the password. So once again just to access the information on it we head back to TrueCrypt, select a drive letter so in our example we've used drive M, you can use any drive that you like you press select device select the drive letter G or whatever letter your device is press mount, enter the password head back to computer and now you have hopefully once this updates the new drive letter M which is where we can edit our encrypted information so here's the file that we created earlier and it's still there and that was all successfully encrypted so, uh, just one last thing, if you ever want to get rid of this encryption and use it just as a regular USB drive again, what you want to do is uh, just close out of this, dismount the device, press exit. Uh, just in case anything happens, I'm going to close out of TrueCrypt. Just go into the computer, uh, right click on removable disk or whatever device you're using, press format, for, uh, start the uh, formatting of it press OK and now that's back to how it was. Just bear in mind if you do get rid of this it will delete the files as it does format it so just back anything up. I hope that this video was uh, easy to follow. If you have any questions just please uh, leave a comment in the description. If you could leave the video a like rating I'd really appreciate that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.